This documentary focuses on abnormal psychology within the walls of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This segment, we will look at Hogwarts student Ron Weasley and his specific phobia. The DSM-4 categorizes five generalized types of specific phobias. Animal type, blood injection injury type, natural environment type, situational type, and other type. Ron's specific phobia is animal type. Ron's fear is of... Spiders! Criteria for specific phobias are a persistent excessive fear elicited from a certain object, provocation of an immediate anxiety response, complete avoidance of the phobic object, and it needs to last a minimum of six months. But it's not powerful enough for all of them. Where's the money when you need her? Blood were out of there. <laughs> Arania, exit me. Thanks for that. Don't mention it. It is no secret that Mr. Weasley is deathly afraid of spiders. Upon seeing them, his skin acquires a tone comparable to moaning myrtles. Moaning myrtle? Who? Moaning Myrtle. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. His eyes bulge prominently like those of a house elf. Hello. His arms flail like the branches of the whopping willow. His voice takes on a pitch and level of annoyance similar to a young mandrake. Your mandrake firmly, you pull it sharply up out of the box. Michael Hewitt used the term specific phobia to describe anxiety and fear that is elicited by an object which results in avoidance behaviors. Later in this documentary, we will see an example of Ron Weasley performing an avoidance behavior. People with specific phobias will go to great lengths to avoid what they fear. If the phobic situation is not able to be avoided, the situation may be endured with intense anxiety or distress. Look. Come on. Come on, Fang. Come on. What? You heard what Hagrid said. Follow the spiders. <laughs> Head into the dark forest. Why, spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Mr. Weasley's case is what they call arachnophobia, meaning a fear of spiders. Hagrid kept me. The girl was discovered in a bathroom when I was accused. Hagrid brought me here. Harry? What? Uh. Well, 
Thank you. We'll just go. Go? I think not. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command. But I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Can we panic now? <laughs> Ronald's arachnophobia has afflicted him since his youth. When a rather unpleasant encounter involving his older brother, a teddy bear, and a transfiguration spell caused his deep-seated fear. People with a specific phobia will often remember fearful experiences they encountered in a drastically exaggerated manner. Ron's came when he was three. His older brother, Fred, turned his favorite teddy bear into a great big heinous spider, all because he broke his toy broomstick. It affected him throughout his time as a student at Hogwarts, most notably in his third year when Mr. Weasley was required to duel a Bogart. On everyone to picture the thing they fear the very most. Turn it into something funny. Next, Ron. Concentrate. Yes, okay. Be brave. Wander the ready, Ron. Wander the ready. Ridiculous. And then escape from a large colony of particular enormous magical spiders known as Actual Mantula. Alas, this particular expedition did little to assuage his fears. In Mr. Weasley's case, muggle healers would likely prescribe what is known as behavioral therapy. He would gradually be exposed to spiders with increasing levels of intensity until he could at last hold one in his hand without turning into a quivering baby. Hello. Bonjour. Imperio! <laughs> Don't worry, it's completely harmless. <laughs> if she bites, she's lethal. <laughs> Although it would be advisable to stop treatment before he loses a healthy fear of the acromantula, as they are somewhat more deadly than the average spider and that they do not hesitate to make a snap of wayward travelers that wander into their den. The following is an example of Ron using an avoidance behavior. I don't like this. Harry, I don't like this at all. Shush. Can we go back now? Spiders even show up in Ron Weasley's dreams. Next time on Inside the Minds of Hogwarts, we'll delve into Professor Severus Snape's borderline personality disorder.